Hello and what up boys and girls, it's your man 50 grand, it's Chips Ahoy, your boy, and I'm back with another video today to talk to you about Rebloom, an AI software that's going to drastically reduce your time when it comes to touching up portraits. Boom, it's your man 50 grand, we're in the building. Took us to my computer here, and I'm going to show you guys all about Rebloom. Uh, could be Reblum, I don't know. R E B L U M. I've seen it said different ways online. I'm I'm rolling with Bloom. Um, they might yell at me later for that, but it is what it is. So I wanted to be quick. I didn't want to have like a, a talking head uh, in a studio telling you all these benefits over and over without just jumping straight to it. I know people have uh, retention issues and short attention spans just like myself, and I probably would have passed on the video. So I want to get into the magic of Rebloom right now and just show you how this thing works and helps you out. I just handpicked uh, a handful of different images from different kinds of shoots. Have a bride here, bride getting ready, wedding, uh, models, things like that. Uh, my mom's in here and I kind of wanted to test to see uh, what Rebloom going to do with this shaky old skin right here. I mean, we talking about, ooh, and this wasn't a good picture to use. Shorty weathered right there. We'll pull out though, right? We got I got a bunch of photos here. I've already kind of just done some base edits to them, and we're just going to dive into Rebloom and see the benefits of this tool. So, that being said, without further ado, we will dive right in. So this is in Lightroom. Uh, a beauty about Rebloom is that it's plugged in with Adobe and Capture One, so Photoshop, Lightroom, Capture One. Uh, you can link out and do your edits straight from inside the app, or you can have it take you outside of the app if you want, which is beautiful. You can use it straight with inside uh, Rebloom's own application. Um, if you so would please, it opens up just like this, and you can just click and drag images there. You can op click this and open and go find them. I do everything through Adobe products, so I'm going to stay right here. So what this is going to do is if you're like me and you don't like screwing around with retouching skin, which can be a pain in the ass and it takes a lot of time, uh, you're talking about taking stuff out into Photoshop and you're running actions and you're using brushes and then you're using curves to dodge and burn. That's a lot of work just to retouch one image. Uh, and the same could go if you're trying to do that with inside Lightroom. It's a lot of work. Rebloom cuts out all that work. It's, it uses AI tech to go ahead and dodge and burn and smooth skin. It's got a few different strengths to it when you um, open an image up in Rebloom. And I'll show you that coming up. But basically what this bad boy does is it gives you some of your life back, especially if you're retouching a lot. You don't have to do it anymore. It does everything uh, at ease for you. And for somebody like me that's always looking to get some time back, it works perfectly. That being said, let's dive in. Uh, I'll just pull up this image here. Uh, like I said, did quick edit here. We can zoom in just to see the skin. Uh, and, you know, not trying to trash Shorty, but you know, there are some bumps and some blemishes. Blemishes, easy for me to say here. So we'll pull back. Uh, if I wanted to use this one in Rebloom, I could just go ahead and say Edit In, or you can always go up to the top here. Uh, ba 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 ba. Da -da -da -da. Photo, edit in, blah, blah, blah. There's Rebloom. So we'll do that. It's going to ask you if you want to edit it with your adjustments, obviously. And then Rebloom is going to open up, and it's going to give you some options. Uh, looks like I have a new version to update. Uh, I will do that after this. So over here, this is how easy this is. And I don't like things that are too complicated. Life's already too complicated. Uh, life's already short enough. We need to be able to, to do fly things quickly, right? So you have two styles in which you can go ahead and edit. There's natural and then there's fashion. Fashion is like more, and it says it right below, more of a glossy look, like a more finished look, like something that you were going to submit as an editorial or to magazines and things like that. Natural is more like, you know, maybe you would apply this to like your family, your kids and stuff like that, just to get rid of a few different blemishes, right? If you want to see the before, you can come down here to this eyeball and just hit the hover, let go. You can kind of see her face, like it's really getting it and then removing it. I like that. Boom, boom, boom. Obviously, if we want to check the fashion look, this is going to be, you know, a lot different here. I know y'all can see the changes. I'm going to go with the fashion look right here just for fun. Uh, we'll hit OK. And what it does is, the beautiful thing about this is it doesn't just drop files out to your desktop or anything like that. It takes you right back into Lightroom. 
or capture one wherever you're at and it does the edit so this is how her face looks now smooth I have to be honest, I shot this at a high ISO, so it was already a bit grainy, but look at the before and after. So this was my edit in Lightroom, and this is what Rebloom did to it. And I love that because it's not something too wild. It's not something too crazy where it looks like you sat there and did, you know, an enormous amount of work to make Shorty look plastic. She doesn't look plastic. Again, I'm zoomed in at 100, and I like the way that looks. We can come back over here slide back over. Not only does it apply uh, smoothening and retouching to her face, but you'll notice on her arms and her legs, it does some, some, some slight adjustments as well. Anyway, you can see just off that one, just how easy that does. Let's roll into another. Kind of want to use people that maybe have a little bit more blemishes than some of the others. Uh, I just made that a little bit more magenta. We were in some trees here and there was a heavy green cast. Um, She's got some blemishes. Let's see here. Dang, Shorty's skin is pretty clean, bro. We'll leave that one alone. Let's come here. Uh, let's do this one and rebloom. Boom, 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 boom. Bam. Now, I'm going to get to the real time saver here in a second. But right now, I'm just kind of demonstrating what the effects of the rebloom AI is doing to your images here. So we can look at the before and after here. I think that's pretty evident. If you went to the fashion look, you could. It's probably going to be even crazier. I I probably wouldn't go that wild. I probably would leave this at natural and just hit OK. Now, I've just demonstrated how quickly you can do this with just one or two photos um, individually. But another beautiful thing about Rebloom is that you can batch edit. So if you have a bunch of photos that are already edited, let's say I have these few down here. Um, edited, we can see some blemishes here, um, little stuff like that. We're going to pass through here. So I've edited that one. You can see my before, my be at, my after. Boom, boom, boom. Bring these highlights down a little pinch. What I love about Rebloom is that you don't have to do these at one at a time. If I wanted to do all these, let's say, I could just highlight them all, boom, edit in, and then we're going to batch edit. It's going to open up Rebloom. <coughs> Excuse me. And then when it opens up, I'll be able to hit OK to whichever one I wanted, whether it be natural or the um, the more model look here. The natural of the fashion, it's going to open this up and I'm just going to hit OK on natural and just let it do natural across all these images. And it will run through its thing and then it will put them all right back into Lightroom. Um, so I can go back in there and compare and contrast what it's done inside of Rebloom versus what I started with. There we have it. We're back inside Lightroom. Now, if I just wanted to export these, because I've already, already done the edits, all I wanted to do was just clean up the skin without me having to go to Photoshop and run in actions and brushes and doing all that shit to these photos inside Photoshop, I'd still be in Photoshop on the first image, mind you. They already have the images highlighted that it just edited on top of mine. I could just come here, export, and print. And now I'm done, right? If we wanted to come in here and take a peek at some before and afters just to show you, we can do that. Damn. That's pretty fly right there. See a before. You know what? It was a little unfair. Shorty's skin was nice to begin with. But like right here on her nose, you can see there's something there. And then when we slide over to what Rebloom did, it got rid of that. So even on people with flawless skin, it still finds some, some stuff that it could remove. Uh, let's see. Ba -da 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 -da. Which one do I want to do? Let me use this one with her forehead because it seemed like she was strong. Dang, that took us up into the pores, bro. Um, see, we just slide over. You can see that it's cleaning up that skin a bit. And it didn't do too much. Like I like that. I like that it's doing some subtle changes when you do, when you do just the natural fix. Just subtle changes. Very nice, beautiful. So I'm going to remove these off my screen just to give us a smaller little workspace here. Boom, see you later. Um, let's see, what else can we do? Okay, here's a good one. I'm going to do these. I'm going to do these two. So this is my friend Ellie. Uh, amazing person, super talented. She runs a run club in Charleston called Let's Run Charleston. Shout out to them. This is at one of the events that she was holding at FP Movement. I'm going to take this one into Rebloom. I'm just doing a few here for you guys, different scenarios, um, some friends, some, some models. 
showing you how this works, and then I'll do a bride here in a second. Um, natural got rid of some stuff, so we can do a bit of a before and after here if I hold that down. Smoother skin. I think fashion's going to be too much here, maybe. Eh, still looks really nice. I mean, I love that. I'm just hitting okay. We rocking and rolling, and I think she's going to like this and appreciate this a lot more than if I just delivered the OG. So I'm going to hit that. I'm getting rid of that. I will export you, T. Boom, print export. Boom. Okay, so here we are. We're back in here. I'm just going to do a few more. No need to beat a dead horse at how amazing this is. I've got, got a bride and groom here. We're going to check out that one. This bridal shot, kind of like that one. I'm trying to find ones where like faces are bigger and a little bit more prevalent. Uh, use this one and this one. Let's go in, edit with Rebloom. Yep, with our Lightroom adjustments, and this is going to pop back in. And this is going to be a very short video. It doesn't need to be too long for me to show you just how powerful this is. Um, again, we can, uh, see the different strengths here. I'm looking at her face right there. I mean, she was looking pretty good to begin with. I didn't think we needed to do much to her. This is zoomed in a little bit and we can hold the before to the after. You can see what it does. Bit of dodging and burning, getting rid of some blemishes. Love that. Let's come here. We're just on natural. Like you can see natural does enough. Gets rid of some of these sh shadows right here under her eyes. Watch. Boom, boom. It just takes... I don't want to spend too much time doing stuff like this. Um, doing adjustments and brushing and wasting my time doing that. So this really helps give you some of your life back. Here we got a bride and groom. We're holding it, letting go. It, even on him, it's, do, it's getting rid of some blemishes here. And I would just leave it at that. Not much did I have to come here and use this fashion. Now, this one's a wild card. This is wild. Let's see what it does to Crazy Joe. See, the AI is like, we don't even know what to do with this here. Let me go to fashion. Let's see fashion, Joe. That actually took away some of her blemishes. Anyway, these look great. I'm just hitting export. And it's going to put it back into Lightroom for us. And then we can export and we're done. I hope you see just how quick this can be versus having to do this in Photoshop. Um, whether it's one image that you're editing or a bunch and you can batch edit. Doing it through Rebloom and it putting it back into Lightroom or Capture One for you so that you can export and be on your way is way better than you having to open these up individually in Photoshop, run in actions, add in brushes, adding curves, layers, dodging and burning, whatever that may be. That's going to take a lot of time, whereas right here you can just batch edit it, and Rebloom does all the hard work. They do all the hard work. You just select natural or fashion. Some people might say that that's not enough options to have, just the natural or the fashion. I think it is, because most of the time I'm not going to be doing crazy uh, outlandish adjustments anyway. I just want a smooth skin. I'm not here trying to apply makeup on them or anything like that. But Rebloom is just a quick and easy method to edit skin without having to go into Photoshop, run actions, and do all this stuff. Like, I've just got this straight into Rebloom right now. It's on natural, and we're going to take a peek. Boom, boom. It does remove some stuff. I might go to fashion just to see what we got. It's probably a little... Actually, I like it. Hit OK. Done. At this point, we're done, and it's going to put us a file right inside Lightroom, and we can export it and be done. Photoshop wouldn't even have been open yet. Okay? So you wouldn't... You'd just be now... Uh, running actions and getting your brushes and shit ready. We're already exporting and we're done. That's the beauty of Rebloom. And that's just the beauty of Rebloom. You get your time back. It's just efficient. You get all the time that you spend wasting in Photoshop right back. The quality is amazing. I just showed you, like, you can see how beautiful the skin looks, whether it's natural or the uh, fashion uh, application there that you apply to your photo, the quality looks amazing, the skin looks amazing. It gets rid of blemishes, it doesn't add anything, it looks amazing, high quality. Like I've said, the integration is amazing. It adds straight into Lightroom, Photoshop, Capture One. It's there as a plugin, you can just right click straight from these uh, apps and softwares and take it to Rebloom and get your stuff done without needing to do any kind of hard work. 
And I hope you can see just how user friendly this has been. Like it's just me right clicking, edit in. We have an option here in Rebloom. You get the, the plugins and everything when you download and install Rebloom. And it's just easy. It's supposed to be easy. It's user friendly. It's very intuitive. Even this app is not daunting or intimidating. Like it sh gives you everything that you need. These are your options. You can crank, you can bring down the intensity of this, the texture, whatever. Find what you want. I think it's fine just on natural and hit OK and you're done. User friendly, very intuitive. One thing that's really cool about Rebloom is that it's done completely offline. You don't have to worry about you know, any kind of intruders sneaking in when you're online or connected. All the processing can be done on your computer. So let's say you wanted to do this, but you didn't have access to the internet or anything like that. You wouldn't be grounded. It does everything on your computer and you can get on there and process your images right from where you're at, even without a connection. And this thing is cost effective. There's a lot of tools out there that would uh, charge you for, per image that you're doing edits on. I know that there's softwares that do edits and stuff like that, and they'll charge you, you know, two, three cents per image and things like that. Once you pay for Rebloom, you just have it. It doesn't charge you per image, which is very nice. So all that being said, I uh, got a little call to action here for you. I hope you guys have seen just how easy this tool is. It saves your time. It does an amazing job. It's so easy to use. Why make anything complicated? I got a link down below in the description. Okay, if you click that, you're going to save 20% off on all plans. Look at that. I process that with natural, smooth skin, dodging and burning. This is exactly the type of image that you would want to use Rebloom on. And uh, it just does an amazing job. I can't tell you guys enough uh, how much I love Rebloom. Uh, in combination, Rebloom and Imagine AI for my edits it has been life-changing. I've got my life back. i got my time back. And now I can do more fun stuff. Like I hear my kids come in. I can be hanging out with them and... Um, that's the whole point of this. Get your life back. Go do something fun. Go do something meaningful. Let this software and all these new apps and tools help us out. So when it comes to photo retouching, don't play yourself. Go down below. Click the link. Okay. I am an ambassador with them. Uh, clicking that's going to save you a percentage off when you pick whichever program you want. Also, when you go click it, you can get free edits. You can download the, the free trial and get a bunch of free edits. Check it out for yourself. See how, see how life-saving it is. I promise you, you won't be upset. This is an amazing software. I use it. It's in my workflow for everything I do. So, yeah, that's it. Rebloom. Yay! Click the link. All right? Click the link. Bye. Thanks for being on it.